Welcome Marshall Marvels. This is Miss Roberts from the Marshall Virtual Library. This is our Rotation 5 lesson for kinder, first, and second graders. This week's topic is character changes in the book titled Pumpkin Soup. Let's get started. We will start our lesson with our sight word riddle. Use the first letter of each picture and guess the new word. So we're going to guess the sight word. Our first picture here is an alligator. Alligator begins with the letter A. Can you guess the sight word? Need more clues. The next picture is glue. Glue begins with the letter G. Our next picture, ant, begins with the letter Great. This is an igloo. Say igloo. Igloo begins with the letter I. Can you guess the word yet? Nest begins with the letter N. The word is again. Say the word again. Again. Spell it with Miss Roberts. A G A I N. Spell the word again. Again, A-G-A-I-N. Play the song again. Say the word again. Spell the word again. Use the word again in a sentence. Awesome. So in the past lessons, we've talked about text fiction, text features of fictional text. So we know the fiction text has characters, setting, problem, plot, solution, point of view, theme, and central message. For our purposes, we have talked about characters and problem. Say characters. Say problem. Characters are the people or animals in the story. What are the characters? That's right. Characters are the people or animals in the story. So sometimes in a story, the main character changes. Characters change or grow as a result of an event, a conflict, or a lesson, just like you and I in our, in our real lives. So at the beginning of the story, the reader learns about the character's strengths and the character's weaknesses. In the middle, normally where the problem or the conflict occurs, events occur that affect the character in a way that make them think about life differently. And in the end of the story, the character changes by showing growth, some kind of maturity. What can you tell about the character here? Look at her facial expressions in this first picture. Not very happy. She looks mean, very aggressive. Okay, in this second picture, how does she, what's happening here? Okay, we see another character has been introduced to the story. She seems to be offering the jump rope. And in our last frame, what do we see here? That's a smile. She has a beautiful smile on her face. So she is happy. She is content. She is being playful at this point. So she changed from being angry and aggressive to being excited and smiling at the end. That's right. In the beginning, Jean was very bossy because she used unkind words and actions. For example, Jean would not let the kids play on the playground until she got there and kicked or jumped first. Do we like that? No, nobody likes a bossy person on the playground. In the middle, Jean began to change when Katie Sue moved into school. Katie Sue did not know that Jean was a bully, so she didn't follow Jean's recess rules. Katie Sue asked Jean to jump rope with her. You see, Katie Sue is new and she's offering the jump rope. So how did Jean respond? 
In the end, Jean was friendly because Katie Sue invited her to jump. She realized it could be fun to have a friend and play with others. So Jean went from being mean and aggressive at the beginning of the story to having fun and playing with others. She changed. She developed. Our read aloud this week is Pumpkin Soup by Helen Cooper. All the characters are animals. Look at the front cover. Who do you think the characters are in our story? That's right. Can you find duck, cat, squirrel? Nice. All three animals are friends who live in a cabin in the forest. What do you think they enjoy doing together as friends? Do you think as friends they always get along? Probably not. So at the end of reading our book today, this is what your assignment will be. How do the characters change? How are the characters at the beginning of the story? And then how are the characters at the end? What caused the change? Now, you will pause the video here. You will go to watch the read aloud of Pumpkin Soup by Helen Keller on Once Upon a Story on YouTube. The link is in the team. You can click there and go directly to the video. It's step number two of today's lesson. Once you finish watching the video of the read aloud, come back to this video. I'll be waiting. Now, let's review main character changing. All of you should have already gone and read the book Pumpkin Soup. And now you're continuing this video. Characters change or grow as a result of an event, a conflict, or a lesson. So think about ch uh, pumpkin soup. How were the characters at the beginning of the story? All right. And then what happened right there in the middle that uh, made them look at each other differently? Right. And then how does the characters, how do they change at the end? How do they show growth? So now your third step of this week's assignment is going to be a teacher made graphic organizer and a graphic organizer on teacher made. To complete this, I want you to analyze these questions. How does squirrel and cat feel when duck tried to stir the soup? How did Duck respond? What about at the end of the story? How were the friends getting along when Duck returned? What did they all come together and do? Right. So how did the soup taste without Duck? Did Duck return to the friends? So think about these answers. Now, to get to your teacher made assignment, you have to click step number three, character changes and pumpkin soup assignment for kinder through second grade. This link is there in the post for this week's lesson as well. Once you get to this site, you will type in the student's first and the student's last name. For kinder first and second, you the, you or the student can decide to type, an, type out the answers by clicking the T here and you will see a text box. Or you may have the student decide to draw his or her answers. So they can select the marker or the pencil and draw their illustrations for their responses. That's completely acceptable. Once the student is finished uh, responding to the text for this week, they will click I'm done here at the top or I'm done here at the bottom. If the student has to step away from the computer before he or she finishes, they can select save for later. And once they come back, it will continue right where they stop. If you ever have any questions for Ms. Roberts, please feel free to send me an email at spoke one at houstonisd.org. Please follow me on social media at Library of Marvel. I am on Instagram and Twitter.
Follow Marshall Elementary on social media also on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube, all at HISD Marvels. Thank you, students. See you all soon.